you greasy little thing. Good morning. We are in a beautiful little French town called, I think I'm going to pronounce it, Le Montier-Liban? Le Montier-Liban? Uh, I don't want to do it dirty by obviously pronouncing it horrifically as I always tend to do. Uh, but yeah, we left the Alps yesterday, or left Alpe d'Huez, sorry, yesterday. Uh, drove down to a gorgeous little town, um, which is just kind of on the outskirts of uh, Lauterat, uh, close to Galibier. Uh, and we're gonna catch stage four today, which is obviously a gigantic mountain stage, which we are super excited about. Legs were feeling pretty gassed after um, our attempt at doing the La Ma uh, Marmotte route. We were just absolutely destroyed. Uh, and then, yeah, ended up just snoozing and cruised here yesterday, which has just been an absolute delight. Um, I'm not filming outside because there are some building works going on, but we've stayed in this really, really gorgeous hotel, uh, which is right in the middle of the town. The town is really small. It's so petite. Uh, a couple of restaurants, a couple of bars. Obviously the bars are a little bit lively because last night was France, uh, France Belgium. Um, we were so shattered that we were so tempted to kind of join in and enjoy the festivities. But yeah, we ended up just cruising past, having a walk of the town and cooking in last night. Our apartment is like way more than we ever expected. We booked like a, a cheap and cheerful kind of what we thought would be room, just because obviously we knew that when you come on trips like this, you don't really spend that much time in the actual hotel room. You just kind of need a good bed for the night and then you're out and about on the bikes. But let me show you this quickly. It's it's unbelievable. They're actually doing some work uh, next door. And I think they've, ti they've tidied up this place since we booked it on booking.com. Um, maybe because there's like a really nice little looking hotel opening nearby. Uh, so they've had to turn the burners on to get like theirs up to scratch, but it's beautiful. Let me do you a quick, quick tour. I'll show you the balcony. This is the outside. Look at that. They've actually stopped ringing for a minute. There's a little coffee. I'm trying to let them get a bit more uh, juicy. That's the pool. It's obviously covered at the minute look at the mountains this is the view from our balcony which is absolutely phenomenal a couple of apartments around then our room here so that's an adjoining hotel uh, room which obviously we've just locked so no one pokes in on here we've been watching a bit of tour um on catch up bed here look at this little hangy thing there obviously we've just hung our kit up little coffee station and then we had no idea it was going to have this kind of seating area with stools underneath little kitchenette so we could ding honestly was absolutely thrilled to have somewhere to cook our food yesterday when we were just too tired to eat out uh, lots of storage which i've excuse me filled with all our bike gear let me hide that over then in here uh, another little cheeky corridor don't know if it's bunk beds are hidden there in case you were a bigger family don't mind me bathroom here Oh, separate John, ideal. So yeah, it actually feels like quite a big space. Um, and it was pretty cheap. It was really cheap, because obviously it's just kind of chilling in the mountains. So perfect ski resort, but also for us bikies, absolutely ideal for the summer when there's amazing calls if you aren't coming to watch the tour and you're just coming to do some epic climbing uh, and a fantastic place to relax. They've also got a spa and a bar, which um, spa and a bar, which I haven't gone and sampled yet. So we've not been and in, in, uh, tested, but yeah, looks brilliant. So anyway, the plan is today is to do a small climb. So just take it super easy going up. Uh, I think we're going up Lauterat. Um, again, probably murdering the names of these calls. Huge apologies. We've got a Welsh flag. We're going to go and stand at the side of the road. We've got um, snacks, picnic. Ice has got a bottle of red wine, which is going to be very warm, I think, by the time we get up there. Um, and yeah, going to cheer on, cheer on the crew. So very excited with this stage. And yeah, just thrilled to be here. Knees are killing. So I would it up and I'm probably going to sit on Isaac's wheel. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take you with you for stage four of the tour. Let's go. Wow, there is a cheeky headwind this morning, or this lunchtime even. But we are on our way up Lauteret. Steady little burner, about 13k. Here he comes. Oi, oi. He's gone to get a tow. He's carrying the backpack. Look at that view. Believable. I've just managed to get a t shirt from one of the vans. Buzzing. Absolutely delighted. Oh, the wind. 
steady steady here we go the air the atmosphere already is bouncing I feel like some of the caravans have been getting on the old vino it's five o'clock somewhere baby <laughs> I cannot wait oh my god there's a wind We are about 3k to go now. Uh, this is the amazing view which has come in. Scenes on that side, and there, and behind. In a few hours time, these roads are gonna be bumping with fans. Absolutely bumping. 5.3% average. It's really not that bad. The knee pain is something extra, but just trying to ignore it. Riding easy, enjoying the views, enjoying the magic. So nice. This is the top. Galibier is up there. There's old Galibier. Some of the cars are arriving, they're close to it. The vibe is just buzzing. Little try to bring in the party over here. We're gonna go find ourselves a place. Oh, there's Doggo! Do you want a cold beer? <laughs> Call your predictions for the day, guys. What are you saying? I mean, Pog is the favourite, but Pidcock maybe on the percent. We can make up some time. I don't know, he's not even the team leader, is he? Uh, Pidcock. I think we both put Pidcock as our escape collector. You copied me. I did copy you. <laughs> but you had really good logic when we were discussing this morning, so. Well, this is the descent that he made up like crazy time on. He made up like a minute. Yeah. So, if he can get there like, I don't know, a minute after, like the fastest guys, maybe. Yeah. It's and not how, that bad a climb, is it? It's like the easy side. How do you think G's gonna get on today? He's gonna obviously smash it when he sees this flag. But yeah, what are you doing? gonna be spat out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Most important question. How's the mountain IPA? It's really good, actually, yeah. Out of 10? 8 out of 10, it's like solid. What are you getting? What notes? Fruit. Fruit. Tennis ball. Mountain. I can smell what. It smells like the hoof of a mountain cow. <laughs> <laughs> the vibes are super high. This is a free t-shirt that we got. It's massive, but we're banging, bang up for it. About three hours until they come through. <laughs> We have just missed the caravans. <laughs> we tried to get a really good spot over there. They're still cruising up. Oh my god, it's the sun. The techno remix. Oh, 
How good was that? Ten out of ten. Was that or was that not the best tour experience? What do you I reckon? mean, they're all five stars. <laughs> five stars. Unbelievable. So good. So good. And now we've got to descend in our tees. Oh, you're freezing. Right, let's get down. Good vibes all around. Uh, also, by the way, we were both completely wrong on our predictions. As far as what we well, just saw, fair, anyway. To be fair, they've got 8k left. Yeah. And then they've got a descent. Right, so you think Pidcock can still swing around? I didn't even see him in the group. Did you? Oh, I didn't see him. Pidcock. Are you going to make it? Yeah, we saw G's glasses. <laughs> we were looking in the sea, of, the sea of riders for G. True to form his glasses. Make sure that you can, uh, he's always visible. I'll insert the pick. <laughs> So good. Right, now to descend, we've got a nice little sweep in for UK. We'll be home in like 20 minutes. Salud. 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 I'm French. Salud. It's been a few days. We're having a uh, post tour recap. How was your day, guys? It's quite good. It's all In terms of all the tours and stages we've seen, how does that stack up for you? I'd say it's in the top three. Why so? We've only been to three. <laughs> no, well, Alex, we've been to see Delta, Jira. Tour though. All right. He's only part of the tour. No, it's good. It's really good. Best bit? Uh, I've just seen the speed of the peloton. Flew past it. Yeah. It was ridiculous. It was a headwind. We also saw Cav at the end, which was phenomenal. Cav looked comfy, you know, if a little a little behind in the groupetto maybe but it, no he was in the groupetto he was in with it was yeah fine. yeah mountain stage always going to be a bit tough uh absolute cracking descent down from uh lotter at uh, we both just got top tens in terms of our speed downhill which is a bit a bit embarrassing we were both going to take it quite easy but no, it, was, it was all time fastest 